It took me like almost three minutes to take out a single cutlass with... With one of my Auroras. So I need to figure out what has two M3As. And we're going to use that to hunt some ships. Because I swear to God, M3As are more powerful. But the Alpha. I think it's the Mustang Gamma, which has three M3As. Two M3As. Has no power plant. Fix that. If this has it. Yeah, it does. Tell you what, we're gonna take these, we're gonna slap them onto Aurora. Because I can. Aurora has yellow jacket, GT two tens, yellow jackets. Oh, I wanna I have um <laughs> thanks for that host, Uaski. Thank you so much. Uh we're I have this I have this hair up my ass about weapon damage. I swear to god. There is something wrong, seriously wrong with ballistic weapon, ballistic repeater damage, and I am on a, a crusade to prove a point. Go. So we're gonna remove the yellow jackets, GT220 yellow jackets, from this Aurora, and then we're gonna go hunt things with this Aurora. Let's leave that one. Go five. Because I I just cannot tolerate it. Just just numbers. The math is all wrong. I just can't tolerate bad math. There's a bug. I swear to God, there's a bug with ballistic damage resistance in, in ships. Like instead of being like ten percent removed from the damage you're dealing, it's like removing ninety percent of the damage or something like that. It's it's ridiculous. Because the the GT uh, 210, the yellow jacket, which comes default on the Mustang, uh, not the Mustang, the Aurora MR, deals like 170 some odd DPS, 14 damage per bullet, but it has a refire rate of like some stupid amount. Because it's a Gatling cannon, it throws bullets out there, a bunch of bullets out there. And I was fighting a Cutlass the other day. I, st I have it, I have it uh, highlighted on my channel. I'll probably put the highlight up here in a little bit. Let's look at our missions. Thank you. Please visit you. Let's see, mercenary smash and grab. Let's do the smash and grab one. That's kind of what I'm figuring, Cooper Black. Yes, Donnie, be good. Weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Now, uh, where is this? <sighs> it's never... I never quite... Take a day off of Star Citizen and I come back to play it. I never really... Never quite realized just how busy... The UI is from time to time. Alright, is that nearby? Yes. Let's head out. Oh, man. So that's kind of what I figured was like, we're going to try to take on, because I, I have a, well, shit. While we're traveling. Let's see, video producer. Let's see if I can get this done. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted either. See if this works. Got it because we got a bit of time. I can always put this up. So here's me. Do picture in picture. Probably should put a border around that or something. That's me picture in picture doing like a cutlass. This, this clip, this this highlight is like nine minutes long until I kill this fucking cutlass. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. 
I go in to fight a cutlass, and I'm just too. And the one thing I noticed, there's a couple bugs with uh, with uh, Cry Engine, with like if you fire too fast, it tends to delete damage. I'm playing like MechWarrior Online, we had a bunch of really dumb bugs with weapon. I don't know. Like, it just feels like all ballistic repeaters were just... When 3.0 dropped, it just felt like all ballistic repeaters were just bad. And I'm, I'm getting good hits on this on this cutlass, too. And I calculated the damage. It's like 3,000 bullets at the end of this. Like, I, I checked my ammo count. And like, I expended 3,000 rounds. And I have 14, dam 14 points of damage per round, which is very low, mind you. It's extremely low for most weapons. 14 points. That's like... That's like pistol damage. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, I think like I think like the fourteen points. Oh, it's cutlass! Awesome, we can do a one-to-one -one comparison. Laser cannons versus this is legit going to be a one-to-one -one comparison. Awesome. Cutlass doesn't suicide. Shields went down faster. Assuming the game's not lying to me. You think you got me? <laughs> Told you something's wrong there. I'm done with this cutlass before my even fucking clip is done. If, if that doesn't prove there's something fucking wrong with ballistic repeaters. I have to start, I can't get too excited this, this early in the morning, my landlord's still asleep. But if that doesn't prove there's something fucking wrong with ballistic repeaters, I don't know what, what, what does. <laughs> fucking completely exonerated by that. <laughs> The clip's still going, like, the, the clip of me fighting. <laughs> like, I, I knew something was wrong. At least with the size 1s. The size 2s feel underpowered as well. Like, we could try getting, like, some uh, uh, laser repeaters on there, too. Trying that out. Where, did, where the fuck did my... Oh, there it is. Uh, I don't know, submit a bug report or something? The theory has been proven. Uh, so people need to start looking at getting their ballistic repeaters replaced with something else. Exactly, issue council. Yeah, we'll just we'll just clip this out. And we'll submit to the issue council. We'll have we have my we have my ballistic clip still going in the background. What's that? That's the uh, that's over there. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the clip going. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it going until it's finished. Just show you how quickly the. And I just I swear to God. Okay, let's go to Star Citizen database. Uh, well, I can't. The clip's still playing. Yeah, it's just like I expended three thousand uh three thousand rounds of ammunition per Gatling cannon at fourteen points per damage. You know, three, three times 14 is what? Uh, three, four, three times four is what? 12, it's 42. 42, <laughs> is that 4,200? Or 42,000 points of damage? I think that's 42,000 points of damage. I'd have to look at the Star Citizen database to see, but I'm pretty sure that exceeds like a size six, a single shot from a size six, like an M9A, I'm pretty sure. 42, and that's... That's one. That is one ballistic getting Gatling cannon. I, f I was firing two of them. If that if that number holds up, so you take forty two hundred times two, just like again, just the numbers they seem off. The math doesn't work out.
Oh yeah, Mirka. The, the, uh, the NPCs, depending on when you get them in the server, like if a server's been live for a while, the NPCs tend to get dumber the longer the server's been up. Usually about after an hour of the, of the server being up, the NPCs are just targets. They just float in space, pretty much. You have to. I recommend turning on ESP, Enhanced Stick Precision. It makes hitting them a little bit easier, because the game tries to aim you where the, it thinks the NPC is on the server, but not where it, but you, ha, you can only hit them where you can see them, not where the game thinks it's going to be. So the ESP tends to pull you pull you to where it, where it is on the server, not where it is on your screen. And you can only hit them where they are on your screen. It's, it's stupid. You end up fighting your controls a bit. And that, that clip is still going. It's nine minutes long. That'll be done with a delivery mission. Not the circle. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah, the pips are off, too. That's another thing, too. Because the, the server is trying to get you to shoot... It, it's a bug. Uh, massive desync with the netcode. The, the game wants you to shoot at where... Where the ship is going to... Where the ship is being calculated. The math is saying the ship's going. But the math is wrong. So you need to shoot at the ship where the ship is on your screen. So ignore, ignore the pips. It, it, turn off ESP. Police with NPCs. Yeah, you, you have, there you go. You ask, you got, you got, got, you got a good head held on your head on your shoulders. You figured it out. You done figured it out. <laughs> exactly. I'm just, I'm just. I mean, this, the, 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 the pilot of that cutlass could probably form, uh, file a harassment lawsuit by the time. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like I said, there's something wrong. Finally, there it is. Kill shot. And we can kind of, uh... I just saw the explosion of it off the corner of my eye. I check it, yeah, 3,000 rounds of ammunition uh, on that thing. So we'll help go ahead and call that clip good. There you go, there's base cam dipshit. But yeah, that's... While surviving some players too, interesting. The next thing would be to do laser to do do laser repeaters. L sixty six. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Well, they have, uh, you, you know, you know about the gun bug, right? You know about the stacking the guns. Can I just throw it wherever. Yes. Also, sluggy, welcome. Most of why is this during a PvP encounter? Um, I still, because why not? DB PBR. That I was testing like the damage of the uh, the weapons. So let's look at some math. Let's let's math this up a little bit, a little bit. Just I want to I want to look at some weapons here. Everybody, prepare for your light for a light bulb. The screen's gonna become a light light bulb here real quick. As we as we look at some uh, some weapon damages here, so. We had the Yellow Jacket GT220 right here, this guy. Um, damage per, per bullet. Let's look at ballistic damage here. Ammo, 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 damage, ammo damage total physical, 14 points. All right, so I expended it, expended it, 3,000 rounds, so 3,000 times 14 times two, 8,400 8, points of damage over like Eight minutes or something of combat. If we scroll down, if we scroll down. Let's look at what's the nearest eight, uh, eighty-four thousand points of damage, right? Like the M9A laser auto cannon, which doesn't exist in the game just yet. 
which DPS is that, is 12,000 points of damage. 12,000 points of damage per shot. Destroyer Mass Driver. Let's look at the Destroyer Mass Driver here. This is... Damage per shot is... The damage physical? Or, yeah, it's damage physical. The Destroyer is only 3,000 points of damage. Now, how about the Bearing S9 Laser Cannon? 20... Uh, basically, even the S9 Laser Cannon doesn't even put out much dam that much damage. Hey, Slaw Dog, welcome. There's Ash Draken as well. So, something is fucking wrong. With these size 1 guns. So, the Yellow Jacket, like I said. And you can actually, they actually did damage DPS calculations. Fire rate in minutes, 800 rounds per minute. Pull down in seconds. So, it's a fairly fast firing gun compared to a lot of the other stuff. Uh, the M3A la laser cannon right here. Its fire rate is 58. For the M3A laser cannon. You know, it's a slow firing gun. But let's look at They did some DPS calculations here, Magalos. Malagos. It wouldn't be right, I know. Uh, so no pips damage. Uh, sim DPS, three seconds. 180, 188, 187. So all these, yeah, sim DPS, 60 seconds. This is just them just figuring out what how, what's the damage per second if you just had opt. If you basically, if you're every bullet hit, it would be 187 points. Of damage per second. So let's take our, our fight there. And okay, we finally destroy the ship. When did we finally start shooting at the ship? Right here. We'll... There we go. About 43 seconds in, 44 seconds in. We need to write this down. We're gonna do some we're gonna do some additional math. So 43 is our zero. And then, when did we finally stop shooting? When was the money shot? About right then. Ah, uh, well... Seven minutes in... So we'll just round it up to seven minutes. Seven minutes of combat. So, how many how many seconds is se 70 min seven minutes? Let's do some more math. We're gonna figure out what how much DPS we just lost. Seven times sixty seconds is four hundred and twenty seconds. And then we multiply that by our DPS, which is one hundred and twenty, no, one hundred eighty-seven per minute. Okay, I can just take one hundred eighty-seven times seven. I already did that. Which is thirteen hundred DPS, right? 1,390 DPS. That seems a little low, honestly. But yeah, that's right. 1309. Uh, Slugging, this is um, a Star Citizen database. I should probably put a, put a link to this, because everybody keeps asking me. So that's... Okay, so that's 1,300. And now let's do the same math for the M3A laser cannon. Let's take a look at the M3A laser cannon. What I just used. Come on now. There we go. Um, alpha damage is 177, 171. What is the total damage? Damage. Ammo damage total energy is 171. So how much DPS? Sim DPS for the M3A is 165. We're all going to see very quickly something seriously wrong here. So if we take the same DPS, same minutes, if we take 165 times 7, 7 minutes, 65 times 7, I would do 100 and 1155 points of damage. But we saw in, in real time just how quickly the M3A dealt with that cutlass. Like, one shot per second. What, DPS? No. DPS is um, more with they actually fire the, the guns actually fire more than once per second uh, with not well the M3A laser cannons are about one one shot per second with 50 with a refire rate of 58 58 shots per minute uh, that's pretty low 
almost one shot per second there. Uh, but the Yellow Jacket has 800 rounds per minute uh, fire rate. I can tell you how. I can divide that by 60. Take 800. Take 800. Divide by 60. And you figure out how many shots per second. It's 13.3 repeating shots per second for the Yellow Jacket. So for some reason, the Yellow Jacket feels like it's doing less damage than the M3A. But the M3A on paper does less jacket less does less damage than the yellow jacket GT210 Oh the rattlers are fun. I just I, I just take the rattlers into like arena commander. They're they're great. Where missiles actually work. Like go do like go go have one of your viewers uh, help you out with like uh, vandal swarm or something and just load up on rattlers. They're hilarious. Um so the next one we have to look at is the CF-117 Bulldog Laser Repeater, which I can pull off my Super Hornet. Again, 163 times 7 minutes would be... times 7 would be a DPS of 1141. Basically, it's slightly lower than M3A. I mean, why? Why? It's the, the sim DPS is already in 60 seconds. Sim DPS for 60 seconds. They've already done this, the conversion. Oh, you're right. I have to multiply it by 60 because it's the same as the 10 second one. So I have to add an. This should have a zero by it. So that they, all of them should just add a zero. No. You're right. You are right, everybody. Sorry. Everybody's pointing out. Vertigo, you're wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. So, it should be 187 times the seconds. Yeah. Where's my calculator? Where's the calculator? It's too early. So, it's 42. 420. So, that's going to make it look even worse. 187 times... 420. 7,000. That actually seems a bit right. 7,540 for the Yellow Jacket M3A. 165 times 420. 69,300. Should be the damage for that one. And then 163 DPS times 420, 68,000, 460. It's just the the damage. the 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 yellow jacket has the best DPS out of all the guns so far we're looking at, but it has takes the longest to kill. Yeah, uh, 78,540. That is ridiculous. That's like, that is like better damage than most of the guns here. Like if you want, like the Sucker Punch doesn't do any physical damage. These rocket pods, I can't, you only get them on the Delta. Um, the Hurston Laser Scatter Gun, which is on here, S1. Uh, the Blissic Scatter Gun, these are shotguns mostly. The Laser Scatter Guns. These are all, yeah. Basically everything past the Sucker Punch is just kind of not even really applicable because they 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 only work in special circumstances or they're shotguns which again they have asterisks anything past the sucker punch basically anything past the yellow jacket has an asterisk for its dps uh, the rocket pods are only found on the mustang delta which i don't own um and it could only be equipped on the delta uh, the sucker punch does no damage to the ship and no, does no damage to the hull so you can't really go off that dps it's bugged as well the laser scatter gun, the ballistic scatter gun, and again, there you have another distortion weapon here, the DR model XJ1, which is the distortion laser repe distortion repeater, and the bl the, the scatter guns, the uh, Hurston dominance. This is the dominance right here, laser scatter gun, and then you have the havoc ballistic scatter gun. Uh, these, they're they're basically they treat them like video game shotguns. They have a really wide pellet spread, so unless you're like basically touching the enemy ship with the barrel of your gun. Uh, you're going to be spreading damage all over the ship. <laughs> Sluggy. 
So, again, there's just something feels like... You also have the buzzsaw we can fuck with, too. Which has even lower damage output. I think this assumes uh, overheating and whatnot. Because the, uh, the, the yellow jacket did overheat a couple of times. I mean, like, I just... Well, like I said, we'll have to clip that out today. Um, our little excursion. Kind of even prove or double down on our point. 